Welcome back to Whatcha Cooking! Of course, this episode, we've got some really interesting people to come on board. You have been watching movies at home, you've been watching your favourite programmes at home, you've been watching Whatcha Cooking at home. Today, you have every reason to meet this gentleman who will be coming on in a few short moments' time. Now, for those of you who have been thinking of stepping out of your home area, remember there are still measures in place, so be sure to always keep your safe distancing and, of course, stay at home and watch your favourite programmes. Watch me lah. Best show in town, right? Oh. So right now, we'd like to take the chance to introduce you to one of my best buddies in the house from the media industry. This is Kelvin Sun, our film director from Kelvin Sun Production. Come on! What's up, bro? Right, oh, bro. Good to see you. Uh, Bo Bunch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the one thing that we're going to tell the audience is you are mm. both uh, Suns. La. we got the same yeah. surname. Uh. I just remember. <laughs> I just remember. Now, uh, we know that you have created, you know, or you have actually filmed quite a few of our local productions mm. in the film industry. Mm. So tell, you, tell us a little bit more about what you do and what has been happening over the uh, circuit breaker period. Well, uh, I'm a film director, so I direct films, short films, feature films, uh, all kinds of production. So during this uh, circuit breaker period, I have been spending a lot of time at home with my family as well as upgrading myself. So I do a lot of reading. I even set up a new company. Wow. <laughs> and and, and uh, basically uh, finding time to enrich myself and then find ways to pivot my business towards um, uh, other markets and, and all that. Lah. So I've been very busy, in fact, extremely enriching. Actually, for most of the businesses out there, it's a good time to we explore our yeah. options. I know you have produced fantastic movies in Singapore like mm. Taxi Taxi mm. or the what, Fortune Handbook, right? Yeah. And of course, uh, it's usually very local mm. uh, storylines that mm. we enjoy. Mm. But I know that secretly you're also a foodie. La. Oh, I've seen some of your programs. Like you secretly want to meet the chef, you have mm. chef programs, you have you know cooking right. interactions and stuff like that. So what kind of food do you enjoy? I like meat. Mm. Oh, all I like, like all, all kinds of meat and I really enjoy for me as long as it's good food I mm. don't really it doesn't really bother me whether it's Chinese food Malay food Western food as long as it's good food with, with meat uh, I, I like it but I don't like things like all the intestines uh. so oh, you give me all the the inerts uh, the, the, the tu cha tang uh. Interesting, I cannot. So basically, I think it's also a good thing because some of the inner stand, they tend to have a little bit more, uh, I would say, cholesterol and stuff. Like yep. that. So it's a healthier option. Yep. And of course, understanding that, we've got a little surprise for you. Today's recipe is going to be something that will blow your mind. But before I disclose what it is and tell you more, I'd like to take the chance to invite my favourite dietitian from the Singapore Sport Institute to join us right over here with Kelvin in the house. This is Parim Siva, our sport dietitian. Thank you. I'm going to step out and get some things ready. So I'll be back in a short moment's time. Okay. So right over to you, Parim. Hi. Hello, Hello. Parim. Hi. Hi. <laughs> well, um, so as like what Ben has said, that we're gonna, I'm going to share with you some recipes. And I heard, I just overheard that you are meat eater. Yes, I'm All a carnivore. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's rich in protein, isn't it? Basically. Yes, yeah. yes. So today's episode basically going to be plant-based protein. Yeah, hey. so um, you're still going to get an uh, ample amount of protein in that. And hopefully, um, that will change your mind a little bit on you know, I including hope so. that. I yeah. hope so. <laughs> Did I hear plant-based protein <laughs> recipe today? Yes. Oh, yes. Gonna, I went to get my spoon. Uh, oh, right. To make sure that I'm ready to eat together with you guys. <laughs> so we kind of planned this behind the scene without okay. you knowing. Yes. Okay. You're a carnivore and we're going to surprise you with a plant-based diet. Would it taste like meat? Well, mm. uh, you let me know. <laughs> yeah, 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 you okay. got the last night. I haven't even tasted the last <laughs> before. Mm. And what is the name of the recipe for today? The today uh, today's recipe is a chickpea power burger. Power burger. <laughs> chickpea power burger, brother. That's right. Chickpea? Yeah. Chicken ah? Inside got chicken. <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> no, no. We're going to have chickpea actually. Better than chicken. It's full of fiber, lots of nutrients, good for your heart. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. And uh, you know, people with diabetes as well because there's so much fiber in that. I've got to taste it for myself. Yes. Yeah. No, so, okay. So. All right. Chickpea is what kind of pea, bro? I don't know. Leh. What pea? I, I have no idea. Yeah. Green pea. Green pea? Uh. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot, we cannot. Same name, so tempted, but no. Same surname, same yeah, surname. Yeah, yeah, same so name. those who don't know what chickpea is, it yeah. actually is a, a type of legume. Legume. Yes. Legume. Yes. Legume. What's legume? Legume. <laughs> Ooh la la. I have no idea what legume. Um. Is well, you have the lentils. You know. Oh, the oh, dal, oh they come the with the beans, same. Everything. So these are type of legumes, basically. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a plant term, lah. 
Mm. We just say it's mm. a plantum. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Okay. Come. Let's start. <laughs> Where is the chickpeas? Which one is? I assume it's this one, huh? Right. Okay. So before I go in, um, you know, explaining about the ingredients, shall we wash our hands? Oh yeah. Oh, yes. Wow. Barim really is the senior senior spot addition now already because <laughs> she knows how to remind us to make sure we yep. maintain. So we always we mentioned in the last few episodes that you can actually identify the powder through its color. Uh, yeah, it looks the same to me. Yeah. And I'm, not, I'm not a cook, <laughs> so I only eat the final product. Correct. So Maybe mm. you can try smelling it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just take it and smell it. You'll know there's yeah. a difference in the... So it's cumin and... So what is this again? Cumin powder mm. and coriander powder. This should be coriander powder, right? Yes. Oh, it right. actually smells pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. this is? Uh, cumin. cumin. Now I know where all the... Okay. Flavors the yeah, 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 yeah. right? Now, now <laughs> it, it really smells familiar. <laughs> Paprika. I think you have, you have smelled paprika before. Yes. Oh, I'm I don't, sure. don't, don't, don't smell the paprika. You know? No. It's going to be very strong, right? Of course, we have some, uh, you know, uh, plain flour, uh, cornstarch. Uh, is this recipe is purely vegan. Oh, so we are making the patty, huh? Yes. It's a power burger. She, yes, just, said power she just said vegan. Yeah, the vegan it's power burger. vegan. So, yeah. so oh, an mm. extra layer to you. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's, let's dive in and see what so we So what we're going to do is, um, I will bring over the... Um, blender? Food processor. Oh, yeah. food processor. Always blender food processor to me the same. Makes no difference to me. Uh, I got the same... Uh, uh, a bit clumsy. Oh, uh, you're bringing it over to fill it up. Okay. Okay. So it might be easier for you. I take you through what to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, we just need to throw in everything into the food processor, basically, and See, blend it. Well, it's an easy job today, right? Very everything easy. Salad, salad, yeah. uh, salad style. Okay. <laughs> Shall we start with uh, chickpea okay. and corn? While right. you know, uh, job, that has been around for many episodes, really. Chickpea. So today, been doing this for a long time. Today, I get to make the so you just throw everything inside. Yeah, just pour in everything. Wow, yeah. uh, this is really memorable because. Yeah. Like, I'm doing this for the very first time. <laughs> <laughs> My first virginity. Mm. Right, yeah. great. And this one, right? Yes. Yeah, first time. Yeah. So, far quite shock, quite shock. so, we're going to chop up some uh, of the coriander. Okay. Uh, I'll just get some coriander for you. It's about eight grams of coriander. So, I'm going to get all of this. So, I must tell you again, uh, when you chop, uh, don't hold it. You put your finger, tuck in, press, okay. so that when you chop, you oh. miss the finger. First time there. Again, wow. my first time yeah. to Ben Logan. Throw yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that in. Okay. Uh, we, we will... So Ben, can you maybe uh, mm. remove some of the leaves and put it aside? That can. will be... The so coriander leaves, right? The, uh, the coriander leaves. Okay. Well, so we will move on to the spices. We will add the spices. So we need about one teaspoon of uh, cumin, one teaspoon of coriander and one teaspoon of paprika. It right? is one teaspoon. Yep. And okay. just yes, yes. just yeah. whack. Yeah, yeah. Right. And, okay. and then another another teaspoon. teaspoon. Okay. Okay. Thank you. It feels like I'm attending some cooking lesson. It is a cooking yeah. lesson. Wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's why it's one job. Something. Cooking. Another accomplishment during CB. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And you realize that actually. When you step back home after this, you might really start cooking, you know. I mean, yes. at the start I of the program today, I, I actually suspect. am mm. active. Yeah, okay. you might go so back you and impress. gain confidence. And one more teaspoon of paprika. Ah, paprika. paprika. Yeah. All right. Okay. Really? Great, yeah. you're doing very wow. well. Wow. Thank you so much. I'm so encouraged. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then we're going to do, uh, we're going to add some salt, about one quarter teaspoon of salt. So a quarter teaspoon, quarter. Is this a quarter, this quarter teaspoon? This is a quarter teaspoon. Quarter. Oh, wow. That's, oh, okay. I thought quarter teaspoon is a small quarter, pinch, quarter. Huh? quarter teaspoon. Okay, yeah, this okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so what do we do now? Blend? Next is the uh, plain flour. Oh, still not blending uh, yet. Plain one and, flour. and a half tables plain flour. Flour. One and a half yeah, tablespoons. Flour. The actual pronunciation is flour. 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 But yes. to your right, yeah. elders and your close friends, uh, you just flour. Yeah. One and a half of this. Uh, yes. And pour in. This is one. Yeah. Well, this is quite a lot. One and a half. I like how he always goes one full circle. Okay, that's Fantastic. good. Fine. Yeah. Gorgeous. Okay, and we're going to use okay. more flour later when okay. we're going to do the patty. Okay. So we just okay. leave it aside over right. here. Okay, and lastly will be lemon oh. uh, zest. The so lemon zest is the skin of the lemon. So you just grate the skin into yeah. the... Don't worry, you'll feel it. Just go. Yeah. Uh, lightly, lightly, just fast motion. Fast. Yeah. Fast oh, like that. Relax, yeah. relax. Oh, okay, okay. I thought I must chop up. Wow, he squeezed the lemon. Yeah. Yeah. His bicep yes, curl is going to come right out. This is really someone who's yeah. using the wow, grater for I the guess. first time. So it's just the skin that we need. It's not... Can you... I yeah, so you can uh, you grate and turn. So you rotate. Oh, rotate. Yeah. So okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. Yes. Get it. Wow. How, 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 how much? Yeah. About just, la. So half of the lemon. Uh, oh, half of it. Yeah. So the half, half of it must be half like that. The full lemon. Okay. Uh -huh. So can I have a look up there? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, you just just have to. When One I um, 
a bit more. A uh, bit so more. you have a bit more flavour. Yeah. Okay. i show you how the older episode men do it. Come, we swap. Older episode i show you man. how we grade. Uh, okay. Wow. Let's go. 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 Let's one of this beginner. Ah, this is when you become rookie. This is old bird. No, oh, up down, up down really fast. Then you just switch side, up down, up down really fast. Yeah. I and think pretty much we are there. We have enough of right. the lemon dust. Huh? My air time is so little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. really fast. Just step back. Okay. okay. Oh. And oh, okay. Okay. we will spread through uh, some uh, inside. Alright. So, for me, I'm not so patient. So, I just bang, bang. Ah. Bang, bang. Like how bang, we go to bang, the bank yeah. table. Mm. So we're gonna put it in. Yeah, throw it in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, my tissue Singaporean way lah. Use wow, your hand to pick and put it inside. My lah, my lah. Oh wow, You're gonna eat this right later. All right, great. Okay. okay. Oh, now we're gonna blend it together. So um, just gonna stir a little. Yeah. Put everything in. So you actually have a, a more chunkier version. You like version, to do that? Uh, yeah, you try. It's a chunkier version. So it's like yeah. not a pasty chunkier version. Yes. Yeah. So you still have the uh, texture. So it's yeah. manual, just yeah. on, yeah. off, on, off. I mean, there are certain blend uh, food processors that have the pulse mode. La. How long do I... Uh, that's it, enough, I think. Is uh, that enough? Yeah, let me just oh, look at it. Oh, that's enough with it, huh? Yeah. yeah. Ah, so when you okay, bite to so eat, you're not biting into like a yam paste yeah. kind of texture. Maybe biting into a little bit of a chunkiness, like a yeah. piece of fresh mm. wagyu when you cut patty. Me. Yeah, when you're ah. biting, yes. Yeah. But it, it smells, smells really good already. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I'll just go one more round. One more round. Mm. Okay. Okay. So the bounce action actually forces the food to just have a bounce so that they, they twirl around and then they slice it a little bit more. Okay. Can I okay. to the other side? Back to the center. Okay. We are playing musical walk around today. No? So musical then, chair. Yeah, walk there. What we're going to do is we're going to make a patty. So can we just clean this up and um, so that we can uh, throw some flour on the okay. table? Oh. Alright, so the good thing about having your kitchen tabletop is when you clean it, you can straight away do your dough preparations on it. Okay, so make sure your table is uh, not wet. And then... Um, How much flour do we use? It's up to you. Uh, just dust it, maybe one tablespoon around yeah, first. Flour. Okay. Flour. So actually, if you have a you know, tabletop like this, mm. or whether it's, yeah. uh, what is it called? A granite top granite or, top, mm. yeah. you know, uh, any <laughs> flat tabletop. Or you can even do it on a uh, chopping board. Just mm. make sure the chopping board is dry. Mm. The reason why I'm doing that is so they do not get so sticky while you're taking the mm. whole paste oh, to put it on here. I see. Okay, and this paste will make up four patties. Okay, so oh. I'm going to throw everything in. So we're going to use all in. So it's like playing a dough, play dough. So, mm. Parim is getting everything ready. Mm. All right, so now I'm going to give you a challenge. So, uh, Parim has apportioned it to four parts for you. That's okay. Right. You're going to start creating the patty with her guidance from the side. Yeah. Mm. Right. Maybe you can, can you throw some? Uh, How much more? A little bit more, just on, over here itself, not on the... Oh, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. On the side. Yeah, that's not. Nice. Calvin will take over and then let's see how you do it last since he... Okay. Can? Um, okay. I'll try. Yeah. Mm. So you take a bit of flour, flour and flour. put it on your hand like that. So okay. it will, hopefully it will not stick so much. Mm -hmm. okay. so you can take the whole bunch of it. Mm -hmm. And then you okay. just pat it all just together. Pour into a ball. Into a ball, okay. yeah. yeah. Okay, and then, good. Right, and then press it a little bit. So it's about two centimeters thick. Two centimeters thick. You need more flour? That are the plate piece. Oh, the plate yes. yeah. It's okay. Fantastic, yeah, yeah, you've done very well. Thank you. No, yes. what, what, ha what have you been doing during the, the CB period? The next? Before we have this uh, first phase open up. Mm. And how has it actually affected you in the filming industry? Um, okay, to be honest, there's no production going on. We can't shoot anything, right? Mm. In fact, I was supposed to have a shoot uh, just before the PM announced the, 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 the CB. Mm. So right now, we are doing a lot of uh, preparation work. I mean, during the CB period uh, for the next six months, because I run my own production company, mm. I have my own employees and my people to feed, right? Yes. So we really got to be very ready for the future. So as a lot of you know it, we talk about the new normal, right? And mm. everything going digital. Uh, so we are more of preparing ourselves for Adopting, that, Adopting new yeah, methods. Pivoting lah. into uh, other areas, other markets and all that. So it's a lot of preparatory work as well as uh, reading a lot, mm. watching a lot of Netflix, a lot of movies. 
Uh, uh, getting the ideas yes. Yes. yes, and then writing my scripts and all that. So still very productive and spending a lot of time with my family. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So what do we do next? Are we yeah, going to pan fry this, uh, bake this? Well, or? okay, there's two ways to do it. You mm -hmm. can actually pan fry if you don't have an air fryer. But mm -hmm. for uh, today's episode, we're going to air fry it. Shall we wash our hands? Yes. We must. Yes. I do not take it. <laughs> yeah. Like we had a very lost look. Calvin yeah. was like, do I wash my hands? Before we uh, air fry it, mm. um, to have a better texture and mm. hold it together, we normally chill it about 30 minutes. So I'm going to put it in the uh, oh, fridge. Chill for it for 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I already have. Don't worry, our set is a magical set. Yes. One thing unique about coming to watch your cooking is whatever goes in 30 minutes will just fly by. <laughs> The 30 minutes later version is coming out. Hmm? Do you all do that on set also? <laughs> all the time. All the time. I learned it from all you. All the time. Leh. Really? Yeah, uh. this also I know. I uh. know you're coming, so I learned it from you. Me and Parim, uh, we, since last night, we put it inside the fridge. <laughs> how long can you put this for? <laughs> Actually, if, yeah, if you're not cooking, how long can we keep this for? Yeah. Uh, if you just put it in the fridge and whenever you want, you just... So if it's on a normal temperature, probably a few days. If it's in a freezer, uh, I probably would say that you uh, do it for the day itself, oh, like for the on day. the day. No, yeah. In the morning you do it, and then in the evening you could just. But if I freeze it, it, can I keep it for like three or four days? Uh, the texture might change a bit because uh. the the um, oh yeah yeah because the crystal will you know oh, yeah, will yeah, yeah. be formed, and mm. when you defrost it, it will be a bit watery. Oh, so it gets a little bit soggy. Yeah. La. Okay, come, let's do it. So right. the reason why we chose an air fryer over pan frying is because of the healthier option. So yeah. usually in a pan, uh, air fryer, what we use oil to do is just a light coat around the pan to avoid sticking. Are we going to coat the pan or no need? I'm going to coat the patty instead. Oh, the, oh coat the patty yeah. instead. So Wait. what we're going to do is uh, maybe pour some oil uh, into the bowl. Okay, I get there. to do yeah. some work for you. Oh, Thank no, 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 you. No, 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 not this bowl. Oh, the other oh, oh. bowl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to coat it, not dip it with it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so great. use the brush. You just take one patty and uh, place it on the plate. Yeah. yeah. So, so place the patty and on the plate. Yeah, use the brush. And just brush. Uh, paint can you, it. Can you feel it's firmer? Yeah. Yep. You can yeah? actually see. Yeah, and brush it around. All around, yeah. right? Yeah, and then you turn it around and then okay. brush as well, sure. okay? Um, I would like to normally. Um, preset the temperature. Preset the temperature as well as preheat, but from time. So mm. the whole uh, temperature is even up mm. nicely. So, so, do you have air fryer at home? Uh, no. Okay, so no. you can actually pan fry too. Mm. So okay. what yeah. Parim mentioned just now is if you air fry it, it's about 10 minutes per side. If you mm. pan fry it, you, you, the five heat five is higher, so about 5 minutes five per minutes. side. Yeah. But air frying is definitely a healthier option. Yes. Okay, mm. so now it's preheated. Wow. So you need to be careful. Okay, right. so this air fryer is quite big, so I, I think I can put all four. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. And band. Yeah. The lightly oiled version. I, I think yours might end up coming out much crispier than mine. Eh? Because yours has a little bit more oil, oil. on the ear. Yes. Yeah. So let's do the test. Lah. Maybe because, you know, uh, we haven't really tried the dish personally before. Yeah. So let's see what the oil does to the patty. Mm. Mm. Alright, so while we are setting and getting this going, it takes about 20 minutes for the patties to be ready. And of course, uh, we're going to take the chance to bring you into one of my favourite parts of the episodes. And of course, we have a mystery challenge coming right up, right, right after, after the break. break.
and welcome back to Watch Your Cooking. Wah, wow. 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 Atas with very atas. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're going to move on into our challenge because the uh, patty is still oh. going and uh, Parim is going to make sure that it's nicely cooked and golden brown. So, this episode, we have once again our mystery challenge, right? Yes. And what are we going to prepare today? We're going to do uh, tofu brownie bites. Brownie got tofu? Mm, yeah. Sounds legit. Lah. And the most interesting thing about the recipe is you don't use egg, you don't use butter. Oh? Yes. No egg, no butter. Use. It's a brownie, but there's tofu inside. Yes. It sounds like a sweet savory dish. La. Um, well, no. It tastes like brownie. Really? So is it like a dessert? Huh? <laughs> 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 I brought a cue, you no. Know. Okay, so um, we're going to start in... Uh, the way this challenge is done is we have no instructions. We follow whatever is on the recipe. Okay. And then Parmi is going to count down. We have about how many minutes? Uh, for to finish this? Yes. Uh, we can actually can do it by within 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so we've got 10 to 15 minutes yeah. to complete so this dish. the baking dish. will take some time, but you know, the prep is very fast. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. So are you ready to count down for us, Parim? All right. Five, four, three, two, one, Okay, go! let's go. Wow, wow what's that? Okay. So, so we have 230 grams silken tofu, two tablespoons of cornstarch, one, half tablespoon, half teaspoon baking soda, half cup gran granulated sugar. What's granulated sugar? Uh, just normal sugar. Normal sugar. Just fancy food. A bit atas lah. Huh? Oh, so just mm. oh. we have salt, flour, vanilla extract, water, unsweetened cocoa powder. Okay, let's go. Preheat oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Grease eight times eight inch. Pan with oil and set it aside. Preheat oven to 180 degrees Celsius. <laughs> okay, so preset the oven to 180 degrees. I'm going to help you with this one, Kelvin, because you don't know how to use it. Thank you. You want to learn how to use this one also. Uh, okay, I think I may need to help you then. Yeah. <laughs> After 60 episodes, still I still don't, don't know, know how to use, use it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oil the pan press, so uh, the brush is there. Uh, beside you the on the brush. left hand side. Then we put a little bit of oil in the small bowl. Mm -hmm. And then we, we we oil the four sides so that later on it doesn't stick to the pan. La. Right. Okay, I'm going to just take a look what I should do. Grease so, 8 times 8 inch yeah, pan with oil, oil and la. set it aside. So oh, you can have a drizzle inside, then you brush it. La. Let okay. me show you. Demo, show, show me. I heard that you, you, you lost a lot of sessions. 30%? Huh? Mm. Come, I'm going to take the brush, place it over. Alright, safe distancing. Mm. So you take the brush. You, you do for me, I'm going to take a break. La. <laughs> So you basically just a little bit of oil and then you. And you're quite a pro, huh? Yeah. yeah. Very pro. But don't know how to oil oven. No, but oil. <laughs> just oh, a okay, small okay. drop will do. Because I think mine's very nice. Oh, nice. Just a small drop, okay. then you just squeeze it That's around. That's right. Add a tofu in a blender and blend it until smooth. Okay, we only have one blender, so I will blend first lah. Mm -hmm. So that you can copy me lah. How much blender? How much tofu? Uh 230 gram. Silken tofu. 236. Well, quite precise, slightly, uh. slightly above, la, but I think it's okay. okay. I think it's fine. And then I see yeah. that spill on your menu, so I'm going to just put this aside. Okay? Okay. So, so that is 230 grams. Blend until smooth. Oh, so I'm just going to blend. So blend until smooth. You seem to know how to operate this. I was yeah. thinking like, you know, you will be struggling, but not too bad. Mm, because I used it on the other episode <laughs> before. <laughs> Okay, so I think this is silken already lah, huh? Right. Okay, Whoa. so my tofu is silken like, smooth. Like yeah, it's so really like a like soya cream, bean, right? Bean curd, uh. Yeah. Tau hui, you know. Can okay. you smell the burger? Yeah. Yo le, really, yo le, xiang le. Now you okay, go ahead, so I won't be okay. so too fast. All right, two hundred thirty grams. A large bowl baking soda cornstarch blend well. So I need half teaspoon. I need baking soda cornstarch. Baking soda half. Cornstarch, where is corn? Cornstarch, two tablespoon. Baking soda, half tablespoon. Baking soda. 231. Wow, you're even more precise than mm. me. Okay, okay, I need so the cover. I'll take this two. Okay, now you can step over. Okay. And I'll switch over so that I have a good distance from you. I'm going to place it back here. Press so it. How, how long? Until it's done. <laughs> Alright, two tablespoons of cornstarch. I need some spoons to blend it. And then add sugar, flour, vanilla extract, cocoa yeah. powder. Baking and, uh, soda. Oh. Where's the baking soda here? Baking soda is, yeah, bicar okay. uh, bicarbonate soda is generally baking soda. So it's actually. How much do we add? I really make. Uh, is it your instruction? The patty is making me hungry. I can't <laughs> think straight. <laughs> yeah. Cannot think properly. Is this half? When you're half, hungry. Half 
half a cup? Yes, it is half yeah. a cup. <laughs> Therapeutic. All right, half a cup of sugar. sugar. Well, how much flour do I need? Half sugar, three quarter cup plain flour. Half cup of brand new deleted sugar. Where's the cup? Me? Have the you cup blended it yet? You I blend already. So I fast? Already. Well, how come you so much faster than me? Okay, this is one cup. So I take three quarter cup. Yeah. Because it's a different size. So you look at the bottom. Well, what's the cup size? Oh. I mean, what's the size of the measuring cup? Oh, the all cup. Right. La. So it's all ready to... <laughs> The oven is preheated. Just half a cup. Okay. That means your 10 minutes is Three up. Cup. Okay, 10 minutes almost half. up. Really, you? Okay, we must faster. Three quarter cup vanilla extract salt. Half a cup of sugar, okay. Usually this is the a really healthier version with the taste even healthier. Now to reach the optimal mm. level. Yeah. Okay, so uh, salt is how much? Three quarter cup of Half teaspoon. Plain, uh, three quarter cup is total. This one quarter. Three quarter cup half of plain flour. flour. And then... Vanilla extract, half teaspoon also. Could be more, because I like vanilla. Smells <laughs> even better. So I went for one mm. teaspoon. Mm. All right, uh, and then we have salt, vanilla extract, water, water. Well, how much water do I need? Mm. Two tablespoon of water. Two tablespoon of water. That's very little water, right? One sugar, flour, salt. Two, okay. Flour. Half Good. teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of nice. salt. Yeah, actually, it's really quite difficult, right? Because it's like math and everything yeah. at the same time. <laughs> and first timer like me, some more. Okay. Yeah, don't worry. Ten timer like me also like that. Vanilla yeah, extract. Where is it? Okay. Uh, half a teaspoon. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh. Wow. Can you smell the chocolate? Yeah, I can smell wow. it. You, wow, it's starting to look really quite legit. Uh. It really starts to look like a batter. And this is tofu, man. Yes, I mean, there's tofu. no egg. It's really tofu. No egg. It actually looks like a mousse at this stage. Two tablespoons of water. Are you hungry, bro? Very hungry. I can feel it in my tummy, man. You've can been you hungry the noise? ever since you start making the burger. Yeah. And <laughs> now with this one, I'm getting even <laughs> hungrier. Okay, so fold it in. But I mean, is this considered smooth enough? Yes. Or is that smoother? Yeah. As long as there's no lumps. In. Okay, no more clumps. Yeah, Okay, so you fold it. You know what's folding? Uh? Mm. Folding means you actually lift up and then you just flip. Oh. Like this. Not oh. stir, not stirring. Well, it looks like, you know. Stirring, um, huh? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much chocolate you stated here? Ah, yeah, 90 gram, half cup. Can la, half cup, eh? Chocolate chip okay. and walnut. And walnut, yes. The walnut, I think, will give that crunch to it. Yeah, you can chop it up. Yeah, I'm going to crush the nuts manually so that I don't have to chop it. Okay. Well, it's taking Power. shape. See, so mm, this is how nice. we train. <laughs> I hit the table. All right, so I got it in. Uh, walnut. Yeah, walnut is actually up, up to also. you if you want to throw everything. <laughs> I got then a stock Okay, done. Okay. Yeah. Chocolate chip and walnut. Nice. So mix it in. Okay. This is walnut, right? Yeah, that's walnut. Walnut, you have chocolate a... chip. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm done. So I can just spread it over the entire One pan. Half okay. a cup. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead before you, Half bro. a cup of so you can chocolate chip. Okay, that that doesn't look too good. So I'm just gonna bring it a bit lower. It doesn't feel the whole pan, or is it? He's very precise. Pen. He's measuring it and everything. Nice. It shows that I'm a beginner. <laughs> no, it shows that you <laughs> are. Everything you show, everything you follow instruction. Yeah. Mm. Right. So do I spread it across the whole thing to make it ultra thin or? Yeah. Need more one. Yeah. Also wrap it yeah. up so that it's, yeah. it's, it's because it's, it will puff up. Oh, you, oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I really forgot about the fact yeah. that cakes. And brownies are not supposed to be thin. They're not supposed to be huge and thick. Yeah, they are supposed to be uh, comfortably bite sized, right? Yes, that's right. So this is how my brownie looks like. Nice, so, right? Wow. This is your first brownie ever in your whole life, bro. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just put mine aside while yours Thank is ready. You. Before we bake the, the, the brownie, I know that the patties are ready. So I'm going to help you along, uh, Kelvin. Yep, thank by you. By plating up the patties with parim over here. And then you'll get to see also at the same time what the challenge is ongoing. You know, it's no longer about speed. This is about waiting for a friend and then see whose one looks nice and tastes better. Lah, huh? And if you haven't liked, share and comment, please remember to do that. We've got amazing people on board with us. So I assume, th oh, this looks like my. Is this Kelvin's or mine? I think it's Kelvin's version because it's the yeah. smaller version. So you see, with a little bit more oil, it really comes out a little bit harder 
Mm. And crispier. Mm. And yeah. mine is the, the slightly and larger pieces. And you can see pieces. that slight uh, browning has happened around Correct. the patty as so well. So mine is slightly coloured. Wow. Yeah. Hey, it looks really good. Yeah, wow, it smells really good, bro. Wow. Makes me it. really, really hungry. So the two versions are here. Okay. Mine is a slightly odd shape, rounder one. And this is Kelvin's one. So you see what has happened with the oil is that yours gets a little bit darker brown and deeper in the colouring. Wow. And if you pat on it, unhealthy version. Wow, it sounds so crispy. And, wow, it smells really nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to slice up uh, some vegetables, some tomatoes. Tomatoes, yeah. All right. As well as uh, lettuce. So these are the bases of your burger. So I just sliced mm -hmm. the, the same usual burger, nice style. Right. And you know that we did one episode with Dr. Rico on the um, capacio, which means ultra thin slices of, uh, you know, vegetable or fruits, right? Or even meat. So I'm going to do it almost capacio style. <laughs> Very thin. Dr. Rico, you should be proud, no? We've been learning well. Okay, so what do we do with this? All right, we're going to place it into the baking. Oh, uh, we can pour your brownie in. Into the pan, into the right? And spread it evenly across, and then it's okay. ready to go into the oven. oven. Okay. okay, so I'm done. I have about four slices over here. Okay. This one? Okay, so we're going to just grab... Each burger will have one. Mm -hmm. uh, once you grab that, oh, just, just rinse it quickly and just you know shake the oh, water So away. do we break away the, the stem below? I will just normally tie it and put it on top, so you don't oh, waste the whole leaf. Oh, okay, okay. So I need about four, four slices. Yeah, uh -huh. bacon. Okay, three. Oh, oh, that's easy. Mm -hmm. Oh, it really starts to look, feel like I'm Prince. getting ready for a nice burger chunk. Alright. Hey! No, I'm looking at yours and yep. yours looks very mm. grainy and sticky, huh? Mm. Did you add water? Uh, yes, I did. You did? Oh, According to the instructions, okay. Okay. Wow. two tablespoons of water. Strange. So again, uh, it's weighing exactly and me granny version, we will see how the brownie come out. And you will find mine with exactly two. No, yeah, yeah, and yours will be the exact to the point, <laughs> man. So spread it nicely. Mm. Once it's ready, Parim will assist you. You will put it in the oven. I'll okay. get the burgers ready. And this one is quite good. Don't worry. Yeah, so this is the And whole usually meal. I don't slice it whole. I like to do it like an opening so that okay. you will not drizzle out or drip out. Oh, right. So I like to do a almost three quarter the way kind of slicing. Yeah, so to so opt for wholemeal bread. How are you going? Just, uh, just spread it quickly, yeah, don't spread worry. It. Yeah, huh? spread, spread it across. Uh, just make sure all four corners fill. Fill up, uh, I think it's a bit up. difficult. Uh. Uh, yeah, wow, this one looks really very thick. huh? Show it uh. to the camera. Yeah, uh, huh? it's cow cow. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe too much chocolate. Uh, I think his tofu is not enough because he used only that much. I used exactly 231 grams. 231 grams. 230? Mm. 231. Oh. Mm. Very precise. Okay. Oh, well, I know why. Why? He didn't reset the weight of the... Of the <laughs> <laughs> Your 100 gram shot! Never mind. Okay, let's see what we do okay, now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, add jong? some whole grain mustard. A whole grain mustard, not the jong. To keep a bit of uh, you know, tanginess in it. Mm. Okay. So spread it on the patty? No, spread it on the bread. Oh. The bun. Into the bun. Yeah. Into the bun. Okay, let me just... Just one side of the bun. The bottom will do. Okay. Yeah. So just just a little bit. Uh, if you like a bit more... I like a little bit more of the oomph in the okay. mustard. Okay, yeah, go so ahead. And how about you? You like uh, it? You like a bit more oomph? Uh, can mm, yeah, okay. can okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> whatever it may be. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, is this okay? Oh no, can yeah. can. I'll help you out with that. All it's right. Good. Um, need to flatten. Hey, come, more. Kelvin. You get to mm. uh, mustard your own bun. Oh, okay. You know, because it's something to do with your movie mm. and upcoming, right? Yeah. Your movie's got to do with food, right? Food. It's a foodies movie. It's called uh, The Winning One. The Winning one. one. It's about ah, competitive so. eating as well as food in general. You know, we Singaporeans, we, we lo lo like food, right? Mm. So we can't live without food. So food is our culture. So and now is a chance for you to take a sneak preview into what Kelvin does as a film director on his day-to-day -day routine. And there's some of his past works and, uh, you know, working shots over here. Fantastic, isn't it? 
Awesome. So these are some of the things that we have, some of the movies have produced previously, and mm -hmm. of course, uh, how it looks like on set, which many people may not have the chance to see. So I'm going to move to the side. Mm -hmm. Parmi is going to place our brownie into the oven. Right. Yes, yes I am. So with the, the mustard ready, do we just place the patty on the vegetable and tomato and that's it? Or do we have more sauces? Yeah, so once you've done that, uh -huh. uh, place the lettuce, uh, lettuce. topped up with tomatoes. Yeah, you can open your the patty. mailbox with the key. Okay, that letter box. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> also, <laughs> so you didn't learn us here. Okay, so you place the vegetable. Lettuce. And then the tomato. Okay. And then and then just close it up, right? Korean look! Is it correct? You uh, forgot something. Yeah. Okay. The coriander on top. Oh yes. do you like coriander, bro? Uh I'm fine with it. This <laughs> is tombare. <laughs> I'm gonna plate it lah. So okay. let's place it down nicely. Uh, so, okay, Parmi, what, 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 just keep it upside down. Upside down. Okay. Yeah, okay. This is what they call, uh, what's this burger called? Chickpea power burger. Chickpea this is burger. a chickpea power burger. Yours is a chickpea tobale burger. Uh, uh. This is uh, possible. This is impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a picture nicely. Lah, huh? Yeah, uh, professional. Both, both side up yeah. Yeah. with the little patties on the side. Wow. They can and then sell already. We can taste it. Oh, it looks really good. I think if you have a slice of this. Would you like to put some salad on the side? Oh, yes, yeah, please! Yeah. All prepared already. Okay, so just so put some, some yeah, on the side. On the side with the tomatoes and all that. Some, How do I do no, this? Uh, some uh, juice. No. No. Just oranges. Just I, I just eat it. On top, yep. Mm. And then oh, oh. And drizzle some. Orange you know, peels or just orange slices? Up to you. How you want to have your. Yeah. So nice, right? To be. You know how yeah. you usually eat the, the Chinese? Okay, just leave it Pomelo, yeah. right? Some crushed walnuts and yeah. sprinkle it around. Oh, crushed Very walnuts. Very cheap. Fifty dollars per plate. <laughs> Where's the walnuts? Oh, here, here, here. Yes, that's You can right. crush it and then sprinkle over the, Just sprinkle, the salad. Yeah. I think they have more to, uh, I'm using the orange oranges, peel yeah. so that you get a little bit more of that. More oranges, huh? Col colour. Jan jan jan! Jing 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 jing! This is our um, chickpea power. Chickpea power burger. 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 Alright. Okay, let's dive into our burger bear! Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, brother. Oh, this is our first vegan style burger. Yes. yes. Yeah. Everything first time. I'll tell you how it tastes like. Mmm. Okay. Crunchy, really, really tasty, full of flavour. I can feel the burst of spices. And is it, is it cumin? <laughs> wow! You're taking a second bite too. Wow, mmm. It's really very nice. Isn't it? <laughs> I think it's one of the first few times where I had something that is completely non-meat. Yeah. But it actually tastes so good. So mm. good. It actually <laughs> tastes the crunch of the lettuce together, the layer, and it's like a layer after layer kind of explosion. Right. My goodness. It's very crispy and it melts in the mouth. Mm. Yeah. It goes well with the mustard as well, isn't it? Mm. So easy to eat, mix. right? Yeah. Alright, so while we're enjoying the power burger right over, our brownies will be waving in a short moment's time. So we will be back right after the break.
And we're back with the brownie that Parim has prepared earlier on because ours are still in the oven. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Kevin, today is your first time trying out uh, baking. How yes. does it feel? It feels quite therapeutic, actually. I thought I was going to be a mess, making a mess out of it, but I actually felt quite good, the whole process. And actually, what we really do right here on What You're Cooking is that we keep simple, easy, home doable steps yep. over here and today we learned how to make a burger yep. now we just learned how to make a brownie i was still coming out shortly but i'm going to try parim's version so i'd like to add some salt on top of the brownie oh yeah so it's going to bring flavor right yes uh, normally use sea salt mm. just sprinkle a little bit on top mm. okay and that's more than enough so when mm. you eat it along with that it, you can actually taste the chocolate and oh. the sweetness we hear the sound yeah. oh you can hear that that's yeah, ready it's ready okay so yeah. let's try yours so first then we bring it out uh, oh, why don't I slice it? Cut, okay. And I will take the brownie out for you. Yes. Are you excited yeah. to see and, and your I brownie? Eat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I'm gonna just. Oh, wow! Can you see how soft it is? You just slice it right through. Uh, I can see. All right. But I would like to taste. <laughs> <laughs> really, very really soft. Bon appetit, bro. Bon appetit, bon appetit Does it taste like brownie? It's very spongy. Yeah. Very fluffy. Um, it does taste like a brownie. I can't describe. But I think the salt really makes a huge difference mm. as compared to your usual brownies. Mm. It just gives a very, very unique. I don't know how to describe no, it. It's, it's, it's such a light texture. Mm. Just, you know, um, I always feel that brownies tend to be a little bit more dense, right? Mm. But this one is so fluffy and light. Very nice. I like it. No, I'm looking forward to seeing our. Mm. Mm. Which is. Which so, is okay. Do you smear a layer of chocolate over yours? That's why yours looks nicer. Right. Because ours are so. Mm. Yeah. So tan. that is. Calvin, mm -hmm. and this is Benz, basically. But you have to let it cool completely. So when you touch the top, it will be quite hard now. Mm -hmm. So when time goes by, it becomes softer and softer. Mm. Yeah. It looks quite different, huh? Yeah. How <laughs> come mine is so much darker than yours? Mm. You're more more cow, Yeah, mine like coffee. My, mine is more uh, fine dining. It, by fine right, dining. yours was a bit more dense and sticky. But how come the color comes out nicer than my nice, mm. smooth well, version? You it's know? called skills. Yeah. You, you will have Parim <laughs> taste it later and decide yeah. who is the winner for today, right? Yeah. But Kevin, thank you so much for joining us today yes. because in a short moment's time, we're going to have someone really cool coming on to our online platform. Now, do you have anything you want to say to our viewers over here, especially to the people in your film industry and your supporters at large while you're on this platform during this uh, period of the pandemic? I think it's so important that, you know, whatever circumstances that we are in, you must always stay positive because the circumstances are there to make us stronger. It's mm. not there to destroy us, but to strengthen us as time goes by. So usually when these such things happen, on hindsight, when you look back, hey, I'm glad I went through that and I overcome it. So we're all overcomers. So continue to stay safe and stay strong. Thank you so much, brother, for coming onto the platform. You know, I'm so glad that you have taken a step forward to join me in the kitchen for your very, very first time. We look forward to more productions and uh, movies from you because I know right after this, you're going to get busy with your own uh, movie production. Yes. So good luck on that path. Yeah. And we we'll see you next time, all right? Thank you so much. All right, bye, Kevin. Bye. Thank you. Bye. bye. Thank you. All right, you're going to get something prepared, right? Yeah. And of course, coming up next, we have a very gorgeous athlete who will be coming onto our platform. She's none other than our very own national shooter. And this is Jasmine Sir. Hi, Jasmine. Come on in. Wow. Good to see you. Let's wave to the audience. Wave. Hello. Say hi. Wave. Uh, yeah. Let us look at how... Hello, everybody. Sunshiny you are. You look really prepared with your you know, sports t-shirt and your kitchen ready. She's going to be the first participant on our program that is coming online and be cooking with us in the kitchen. We have never done anything like that before. So Jasmine, many of us know that you are a national shooter, but not many of us would know actually what are the competitions or tournaments you have been preparing in and some of your accolades. Would you like to tell our viewers over here some of your you know, background and competitions that you have been a part of? Uh, so in the past uh, 10 years or so, I've been to major games like Commonwealth Games, Sea Games, Asian Games, and I also went to two Olympic Games. So those were very memorable. And um, right now we're trying to qualify as in prepare for the Tokyo Olympics next year. And we will, we will resume our training once the circuit breaker ends. Okay, so do you cook often? Curious. Are you a, a home cook yourself? Yes, I, I cook often. In fact, everyone in my family cooks often. Like most of the time we just prepare, uh, we cook for all three meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner. 
Oh, fantastic. So the family ha actually, ha no wonder she's very ready in the kitchen. Yeah, she, the setting, is, right? she is. Everything yeah. is nice, neat, clean. Yes. Just like you. <laughs> So, I, do you work with uh, Jasmine often, Parim? Yes, I work with her, uh -huh. uh, and uh, it's really a pleasure working with her. Actually, been with her, working with her for past four, five years already now. Yeah, uh, and uh, to travel with her for uh, some some of the competitions as well. So, from what I see off on Jasmine's table and what I see on set. You both have obviously communicated what's going to be prepared <laughs> today, right? Because it's almost like a mirror image right now. So, I want to switch position yes, with you, yes, Parim, yes. and uh, tell us. Uh, what both of you are going to be cooking of on this episode of What You're Cooking. So, Jasmine, uh, today's uh, recipe will be plant-based protein, basically. So, we're going to do some Asian style. Okay, Asian yeah. style. So, she actually told me that she have never tried tempeh. So, I thought What's a tempeh? it would be nice to explore. So, tempeh is the uh, fermented soy. Oh, tempeh. Oh, oh. Tempeh. What's the name of the dish? It's called uh, stir-fried tofu and tempeh with Tangoon, which is glass noodle. Fried tofu and tempeh with glass noodle. Yes. Okay, good. So I'm going to help you heat up the pan a little bit over here. Because yes. later on, we're the, going to the first one. We require yeah, we to heat it have up. it a little bit heated. Okay, don't worry about uh, Jasmine. Our For yours, no need, Jasmine, because Jasmine, uh, my one heat up slower than your open yeah, fire yeah. one. Mine is a uh, stove version, yeah, so yeah. it takes time. So what we do is uh, let's soak the prawns in water and the tangoon in water. You have already done that? Yes. Yeah, you can just pour in water. And, like it's and just let it soak, yeah. Alright, so not difficult. And the glass noodle, have and you added water? And the glass noodle with water as well. Glass noodle, water, yeah. Alright, great. So, shall we do... Uh, long beans. Long beans, shall, we'll cut up the long beans. I have more ingredients, uh, more volume because we have more people in the studio. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, she's doing We'll make sure that we always shoot the people who are working hard behind yeah. the scenes. Correct, yeah. For okay, you. great, yeah. Okay, so what you do is you cut up the tip. You don't want the tip of the long beans. Well, we always say uh, these beans basically, so uh. um, the good source of protein as well. And of course, it has lots of vitamins and minerals. Mm. Cut it up and put it in the bowl. Okay. Is yes, that, right. Wow, great. Very fast yes. and tidy. Yes. Well done. All right, Jasmine, can we look at your long beans again? Nicely cut. Can you show okay. it to the cam? That's another. Yep. Yeah, very nice. Great. Wow. Next is I will cut the uh, lemongrass. Lemon so remove the first layer of the lemongrass and only use the white part of it. Because the first layer is, ten, uh, is usually drier uh, yeah. and uh, it's coated for the environment. So you just remove the first layer. Sure. That's right, yeah. yeah. Correct. And then you cut off the tip. Top and bottom cut the off. The bottom. Slice off the top yeah. and bottom. Yeah. yeah. And the bottom as well, cut it up. The root. Yeah, the That's root. the root, right? Yeah. Hmm. Hey, I'm getting quite good at this one also. Huh? Very good. I remember my step. Yes. yes. Okay. Have you all remembered? Great. You slice it finely and thinly, but it, just like how you did the long beans. Ah, nice. Jasmine. Oh, finely, she chopped up the yeah. garlic. The good work. Yes, nice. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. oh, that's not garlic. That's actually the lemongrass. Wow. Lemongrass. And she's quite fast. She's eh? very fast. Yes. Good, very good. good. Fantastic. Tang so, kuri shall we go on with the chilli? Cut off the, the stem. stem. Cut off the stem. Yep. The top uh, and the bottom. Uh, yeah. So far, we have lemongrass, we have chilli, all sliced up, and long beans. And again, uh, Jasmine is already ready and on the standby. Yes, okay. Okay, next will be, uh, I think she already minced your garlic. I can see that. Oh, yes, yes. the garlic. Okay, uh, I've not done my garlic yet, so just give me a second. I'll finish up with the garlic. Mm. So okay. you're not a garlic person? I, I like garlic. I love right, garlic. Great. But I just don't eat it as a whole like some people. Mm. You know, like they cook it in a soup and then there's like this whole clove in a lump. And then they just eat it as, as it is. I like it diced up and subtly hidden in my dishes. Mm. Okay, so we have done that. And lastly, the onions. Onions. Okay, so I'll cut that for last so that if it's going to be, you know, uh, quite strong and makes you cry and, you know, you've already done most of your cutting. Can you see? So you just have yes. to... Yeah. So there's no way to stop tearing when you slice onions, right? Well, uh, some people say put another onion on top. Okay. And apparently it absorbs. Uh, but how about you, Jasmine? Is there any like home ways of slicing onions where you don't tear like what you are going through right now? This is a problem that I have. And I, I thought I, I should ask the both of you how to resolve this issue. I thought of wearing a goggles and like sunglasses at home while dicing the onion. 
I think that I think goggles might work because it prevents the vapor from getting in, right? Yep. But it'd be quite funny for you to be wearing goggles at home, lah. Yeah, you, you can do that. Right. And uh, some uh, there are people who have I've not tried that. They said that you can actually put it in cold water, mm. the onions after you peel it off, and after that you just start. Also, oh, after it. you soak in cold water, then yeah. you start slicing. These yeah. are some of the methods, lah. Some people say that you put an onion above another onion, or you put the onion in cold water first. Mm -hmm. So yep. you can try it and let us know, okay, Did Jasmine, whether yep. it works or not. Okay, so next will be tofu. Mm -hmm. So tofu, so we just uh, cut it up in one centimeter cube, that's it. One centimeter cube, yeah. So yep. after this, I assume we're going to just dive everything into the hot pan. Yes. Okay, are you done with that? Okay, your tempeh. If you find that there's some black stuff around, then just give a rinse, okay, on the tempeh. If it's just clear, that is fine. Okay, it's, it's clear. <laughs> Alright, so uh, if it's, uh, there's black specks around, then just give it a quick rinse. If not, we can just start yeah. chopping it. And right? then chop it into like one centimeter as well. Oh. They look like nuggets, actually. Yeah, it does. Does it feel like nuggets? No, it actually looks no, very it soft. Yeah, it, looks like, it feels almost like a firm tofu. La. Yeah. A very firm tofu. It's a really rich protein sauce. All right, fantastic. Yeah. So if you are a person who gyms a lot, and you're looking at you know building up your muscles. This is a good source of protein, right? Uh, it's a good source of vegetarian protein. Yep, mm. vegetable protein. Okay, so you have this all done. Okay, so we, we have done all the prep. All right. So okay. looks like just means uh, that you can fire up. Like I like to do is I will drain the water from the the shrimps. Okay, the shrimps. And just mean if you have a pounder, so and you pound it, I can see the pounder there. Right, mm. pound your yeah, shrimps. Yeah. yeah, I don't have a pounder here, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to drain it off first. Mm -hmm. So you drain off the water first, then put your shrimp into your pounder. Yeah. And for us, we don't have a pounder. We're going to use our hands to shred it. Shred it. Oh, so she's very prepared. If if you're a vegetarian uh, mm. or you don't like dried prawn, not everybody likes dried prawn. Mm. You can substitute to uh, vegetable stock. Okay. So you just dilute the stock into very, in very little water mm. and then just substitute that, that's it. Fantastic. Yeah. So you can now uh, start stir frying things, I mean uh, pan frying our tempeh and tofu. Okay, so maybe you want to set your pan into medium heat. Yep. And then pour a teaspoon of oil. Teaspoon of Yeah, on. just very little oil. Okay. Okay, hey, throw in your tempeh once the pan is uh, heat, uh, hot. Is it hot? Is it hot? One, two, three. Yeah. Wow, can you hear the sound? Yeah. Oops. Oops. Okay. Gonna, so All right, saute it. Just, eh? just uh, you know, saute it. Yeah. It will take some time for it to change color uh, now based on the heat. Okay. Do we have to add salt? You don't need to add anything. I just want to stir fry. Uh, I just want to pan fry those first and leave it aside. How are you doing this, Jasmine? Is it changing color? Yes. Not yeah. yet. It's Not yet? Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right, Jasmine. So see, this is how mine looks like, Jasmine. Can you see? The color of my wow. one. So it's yeah. turning a little bit uh, greyish. Yeah, it's got yeah. getting there. Yeah, I can see this. Yeah, it's changing. Yeah, good. Okay. All right, the house is done. Very nice color. Let me turn down the Okay, so bit. next will be... Tofu. Throw the tofu. Are you done with your tempeh? Uh, we can... Okay, I'll place the tofu in for you. Yeah, it's done, it's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah good, good. Your colour is very nice. Yeah. Jasmine, remember to get a cover for your pan also because later on when we cook the uh, long beans, we're going to, I think, cover the pan for a while and let it cook. So get a little wok cover. And I'm sure you're very prepared. Uh, get a wok cover, meh? <laughs> yes, she has it. And you did not... Practice this with no, her no, no. yesterday. Wow, that she's really she's really got a very handy kitchen. So, uh, so this is our tofu. Yeah. Just mean let's see your tofu. Hers is yeah, hers is cube size. Cube size. I think it's habitual for her also la, yeah. because in Chinese Asian cooking style for tofu, we tend to go for the cube. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, versions. Okay, looks like mine is turning gold. Yeah, also. It, yeah, it's getting that. I think um, we can take it out. Yeah. yeah. Next will be your um, long beans. Well done. Mm -hmm. It smells really nice. Okay, very simple. Okay, next is again very little oil. Okay. Yeah, throw in your long beans. Okay, just give a stir. Three a quarter stir. cook, huh? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it quick. Just mm -hmm. close the pan. 
because we don't have a, a cover, so we use a walk upon a walk. It's like an inception. Yes. All right, yeah, can uh, Jasmine, cover? can you show us how you cover the walk again? Uh, nicely cover it. Yeah, very nice. Mm. Okay, so while it's actually cooking, Jasmine, throw away the water from the glass noodle and just keep it aside while it's cooking. Okay, she's done and we should be almost done. I think we are almost done too, so yeah. I'm going to open up right up. Yes. Very nice. Okay. Now Ooh. for the actual dish. Okay, we're going to start stir frying, I believe, the garlic and onion first, is it? Yes. Ah, that's the standard. And the chilli? The garlic, onion and uh, the lemongrass. Uh, lemon okay, so you throw in lemongrass. your garlic. Garlic first. And the onions. Then the onions. I feel like an echo to you, you know. <laughs> and then the lemongrass. That's right, you can smell. Yeah. yeah. And the lemongrass, okay? So stir fry it until the onions, you know, become soft. How's it smelling like over at your side, Jasmine? Does it smell good? It's really good. I, we rarely cook with dry strings, so this is really something new. And and the smell is just it's just good. So once you're done, then you add your um, chili. The chili, the chili slices. Okay, and your long beans. Chili slices and long beans together. Everything in. Now you get a beautiful color mixture of red, green, light orange, and brownness. Yeah. And half a teaspoon of salt. Yeah. And uh, for jasmine, your quantity is lesser, so. So you use lesser yeah. salt. Yeah. Mm. It's a mm. really simple dish. The yep. colour looks really, really nice. It's very enticing to the eyes. Okay, and next will be your tenghun. Tenghun. Oh, yes. tenghun first. I thought tenghun would be last. No, tenghun first. I want to drop first. this one in. Yeah. Asa. That's not a lot of tenghun. I would uh, have thought that we would put a lot more because I'm a big appetite eater. Oh, really? So, Jasmine, let's take a look at your glass noodle first. Just show it to the camera so that we can see how it looks like. Wow, nice brown. Wow. Yes, a nice, nice. Very nice colour on the screen. Yes. You see? It yes. looks really, really good. Yeah. So, we're going to place it back and then we have the tempeh and tofu. Yeah, I'm going to just drop it in. in uh. Yeah, everything. All right, tempeh and tofu. tofu. Yeah. All in. One more piece. For this recipe, you don't need any sauce. So, the prawn will give you the flavour. You know, um, the garlic and onions will do all that, you know. So this is like a dry noodle time, huh? Yeah. This is enough? Do you like it? Tastes really good. Tastes. Oh, you're tasting it already, ah? Uh? While I'm washing the plate, you're tasting already without me? Oh, I, I'm just tasting the salt. Oh, tasting the, the flavour lah. Yeah. The flavor. Ooh. Okay, Jasmine, if you're ready, it's time for us to plate up. Wow. Almost there. All right, Jasmine. Wow, slightly put up. Wow, it, oh, actually 90% look alike. Huh? So we're going to plate this forward to let the viewers have a quick look. Can we bring the brownies right in also? Yeah, oh, do, oh, and I've garnished that? it with a little bit of chilli, so you know, it sparks up oh, the colour. More colour. Yeah. I'm going to take some tempeh. I'm going to uh, take some tanghoon. Oh, she cannot wait. Uh. Jasmine never wait for me. Huh, Jasmine, you eat so fast, you're supposed to wait for me and eat together. You know, This is like the, this is our dinner for two. Leh. <laughs> it's the first time having tempeh at home. Really? And with glass noodles. <laughs> Actually, these three ingredients, I, I don't really use them more, um, often. Like, I mean, like, not at all. Tempeh, glass noodle, long beans, and it's quite interesting to, to cook them today. Thank you so much for coming on today. It's been a great pleasure cooking with you. I on hope school. you enjoyed this, Jasmine. Mm, I'm yes. sure. She says she's going to cook it with, for her dad because her oh, dad is a tempeh nice. fan. Yep. But you know, thank you so much. Is there anything you want to say to the viewers before we say goodbye to you for joining us on today's episode? I think there are many things that we can do during circuit breaker. Like, just be patient and all this will be over soon. Thank you once again for joining us. This is Jasmine Sir, our national shooter right thank over you, here with thank us. You, thank you. And thanks, Karin. Thanks for having me here. I'm really, really happy with this dish. Great. Fantastic. Like, Yay, bye. bye. I like the way she smiles. Yeah. So sunshiny, very positive, yes, and I like that one. And I'm looking at this one, and I'm, I'm not so sunshiny after all. <laughs> you know? I assume this is my version. I, I know. I did nicely spread. Okay. And this is um, Calvin's version. Yep. Oh, so if you can see it, this is our brownie. And then uh, this is this was Parim's version. Yep. 
And uh, we were supposed to garnish it with a little bit of uh, salt, right? All right, of salt. I'm going to just give a quick slice. And you're going to tell us which one. Oh, mine is really nice to slice into. Yep. Even I am worried how it tastes like. <laughs> All right, I'm going to slice Kelvin's one. Oh, he's much tougher. Tougher? Yeah. yeah. It tastes like a cookie, right? Right. Uh, but it's still quite uh, moist. This is mine. Okay. Again. It's soft and it's spongy. And this one is Kelvin's one. I'm going to, I'm going to try his one first. Oh! Surprisingly, Kelvin's one is not bad. <laughs> well, even his is soft. Yeah. It doesn't look that way, right? Mm. It doesn't look anywhere close to yours, even. <laughs> and this is my version. Mmm, I think I did well. And Barim tell us with mine and uh, Calvin's brownie, who is the winner of this week's challenge? Uh, yours is easy to chew. It, you know, it sits in easily. I, I'm noticing that every time you are having a challenge with me, you're winning. Yeah, <laughs> you're my lucky charm, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I'll so, give it to so, you. So, so, yes, I'm the winner? you're the winner. So, Calvin, don't worry, it's your first time in the kitchen. I have 16 episodes under my belt, lah, huh? or maybe even more. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, Marim, for the amazing uh, recipes for today. And to all our audiences out there, remember to like, share and comment. We're looking forward to having more interaction with you. And we look forward to seeing you in the next episode of What, what You're, You're Cooking. Cooking.